Hi y'all! This is the third part for an Awfully Big Adventure achievement video series. This video will show the pet battles within the Celestial Tournament in Mista Pandaria expansion and Warlords of Draenor. As a reminder, the Elec plushie needs to be on the team for every one of the listed battles. And once again, I may mispronounce some of the names. I chose to start with Soli the Pickle McLeary. I use Swamp Croaker instead of Kun Lai Runt in this match because it's able to take out Socks and add in a little extra damage to Monty when he comes in. Once Socks is down, I use Bubble to avoid his Unholy Ascension ability. It still hits the benched pets, but Swamp Croaker will be able to last a little longer and avoid Monty's first attack, which happens to be a burrow. Swarm of Flies can be cast while Monty is burrowed in the ground. When Swamp Croaker goes down, I pull out Alec Plushy to absorb the rest of the Ascension debuff. The next battle is Lore Walker Cho. I switch out Anubisath when he receives the bonus damage debuff from Wisdom. When Patience comes out, I use Deflection first and almost always when it's available again. Patience does heal, so I wait until the healing spell goes off before using Deflection. Kun Lai Runt is able to take care of Patience and Knowledge, but I do swap Elec Plushie in to take the hits when Knowledge casts his boosted damage buff. I don't bother freezing patience when it's available because he's almost dead, so I can save it for knowledge when he comes out. Dr. Ion Goldbloom is next. I had to use a completely different team, swapping in Iron Starlet and Dark Moon Zeppelin. The challenging pet here is Trike, who's a beast pet. I use Iron Starlet's Wind Up Supercharge Wind Up combo to take out Screamer. I swap in Elec Plushie to soak up Chaos's crit attack, followed by that flame wave attack, Instability. Iron Starlet comes back in and manages to get off another wind-up, then Toxic Smoke. Dark Moon Zeppelin is going to use Decoy as much as it can. I ended up swapping the Zeppelin out for Alec Plushie until Decoy was back up, otherwise there's no way I'd be able to beat Trike.
Next is Terran Zoo. This battle is a little more complicated with turns and timing. I rely heavily on Kunline Runt's Frost Shock and Deep Freeze combo abilities. Yen has an ability that stuns my upfront pets. I allow one stun to go through and just pass the turn because Yen will always retreat after that ability, keeping my pets safe. Lee also has a stunning ability, so when he is up and my deep freeze is on cooldown, I swap in my Elec Plushie to soak the stun. I'll also swap in Elec Plushie when Bolo casts his Blinding Powder on Kunlai Runt, just letting the debuff run out on the bench. Anubisath doesn't do as good a job as Kunlai Runt, and I get a bit sloppy with Lee's stun, but it's all good in the end. Number 34 is Chen Stormstout. His first pet is pretty annoying. It rams my upfront pet back onto the bench. So I start off with Elec Plushie, followed by Specimen 97. Chirps' first ability is to always put the opposing pet to sleep. When he does this, I swap an Elec Plushie. Specimen 97 does hardly any damage to Bruley, but any damage still chips away at him. Rathion is one of my favorite fights. It's very predictable and my team has a counter for almost everything that's done. Anubisath is definitely the heavy lifter in this match.
The next fight with Shade Master Kieran, I open with Kunline Runt and Forest Nairn to retreat and Stormone to join the fight. At this point, I pull out Anubisath Idol to cast Sandstorm. Stormone's first attack is going to be Lightning Storm, so Anubisath Sandstorm should remove Lightning Storm. Sandstorm will also negate all of that turret damage. When Nairn comes out, he's going to cast Blizzard. But since those pylons are still out, my sandstorm is on cooldown, I pull out a like plushy to take the damage. Summer is going to come out and cast an immunity spell and then give himself a damage buff. I let Alec plushy take that hit every time until the point he dies. By then, I'm able to use Anubisath's deflect for it. Blingtron 4000 is next. I force O, or I'm going to call him Gold, out with Frost Shock and Deep Freeze. Banks is a critter, so I can't incapacitate him, which is fine, really, since Thrash does bonus damage to him. When Gold comes back out, I swap in Elec Plushy to take his hit. Water Waveling does bonus damage to Lil B. I'm always going to cast Geyser in the event Water Waveling is taken down. At least there will be some damage left with Elec Plushy left. Number 38 is Wise Mari. Carpe Diem does a group heal and Spirus has an immunity spell. It's prudent to wait for that immunity spell to go off before casting Deep Freeze so it's not wasted. River also has a Submerge spell which I did waste my Deep Freeze on. River's pump is very strong and normally I would have swapped an Elec Plushie to try to take the hit but he was at such low health that I took the chance of taking him out.
The last expansion for these pet battles is Warlord of Draenor. I'm starting in the north in Gorgrond. Simmer Bright Blade's first pet, Idol of Decay, will cast a spell on the active pet to treat it like it's undead. When it is about to die, it'll cast Dark Rebirth, which means if it dies that round, it'll come back to life but lose a percentage of its health every turn after. I swap in Elec Plushie to avoid taking damage while I wait for Dark Rebirth to wear off. When Wish Bright Lantern comes out, it casts Sunlight. Even though this increases its health pool, Kunlime Runt is able to deep freeze it before it can really recover any health points. He also has a healing spell for almost his full health, so it's very important to keep him off the field as much as possible. Grexel also manages to get a huge repair off when he reses. Gargra is located in Frostfire Ridge. Her pets have a lot of bonus damage and speed buffs, but forcing her pets to rotate out and using Elec Plushie as a soak makes this fight fairly easy. Anubisath once again does terrible damage, but still manages to take out the last pet. In Nagrand is Tar the Terrible. He uses an all humanoid pet. Gladiator Merkelot will always open with his big hitting move that will stun him and he will retreat on his next turn. To counter this, I start out with Elec Plushie. Yeah, that takes the hit and then I swap for Bone, Bone Serpent. Bone Serpents will be able to dot up the field with bonus damage against humanoid pets. After putting down his two field dots, I swap in Anubisath Idol and cast Deflect when I see Gladiator Deathy charging his next ability. After Deathy is downed, Merkelot is pulled out again, and I bring out Elec Plushie once again to take his first hit. Merkelot will cast a shield spell, but this will be consumed because of a field dot. If Merkelot's hit misses and he doesn't stun himself, then he won't retreat and will continue to fight. You may have noticed the giant mistake I made in this fight. Anubisath's Sandstorm completely blocks the damage of the field dots that I put down. Sometimes it doesn't because the damage from the dot is high enough to overcome that threshold, but apparently I didn't notice while fighting.
Tara Loon in Talador is next. She has annoying flying moth pets. I open up with legs using focused beams. Every time it is used, it's supposed to build up in damage to a max of 555 here since there's bonus magic damage. So even though Serendipity hides in the damage blocking cocoon, Focus Beam should theoretically be building up its damage. When Legs is about to die, I cast Surge of Power because it causes Legs to recover for the next two turns, but it's a good amount of damage. Down south in Spires of Iraq, there is Vishar. I want to say the fight was challenging, but it really wasn't. I deflected the Ape Apexis Guardian's entangling roots when it was about to go off, and then the fight just followed the way most of the other fights go. The last fight is with Ashley in Shadow Moon Valley. This fight is a bit of a joke. It's where Elec Plushy fin finally meets his match in Doodle. Whose cuteness will win out? Hmm. I hope this whole video series was helpful. Good luck and have fun!